Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Ruth Beter, and I am the Serials Librarian at Himmelfarb Library. Today, we will be briefly talking about how to spot a predatory journal. Our videos are publicly available and licensed under a CC BY NCSA Creative Commons license, although some resources discussed in this series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library resources. Let's get started. Before we learn how to spot a predatory journal, we must first understand what predatory publishing is. Simply put, predatory journals prioritize making profits over scholarship and research by using deceptive and unethical business practices. To learn more about predatory publishing, explore Himmelfarb's Predatory Publishing Guide, which is linked in the description of this video. This video will focus on the top five things to look for when identifying predatory journals. These include unsolicited email invitations, an unprofessional website, no peer review process, insufficient contact information, and a poor reputation. First, let's discuss unsolicited email invitations, inviting you to submit a manuscript or to be a reviewer or an editor with the journal. Emails from predatory journals often contain awkward language as well as spelling or grammatical errors. These emails are often filled with flattery and pressure you to submit an article quickly. The signature block of the email is often incomplete or does not exist. An unprofessional journal website is another red flag. Look for spelling and grammatical errors, a generally unprofessional appearance, use of flash media, and distorted images. Check impact factor in indexing claims for yourself to confirm their accuracy. Look at the instructions for authors page. Be wary of journals who request a manuscript submission through email. Most predatory journals do not put articles through any legitimate peer review process. If a journal promises quick publication, that is a sign that they are not performing peer review. These journals do not provide sufficient details about the peer review process take a look at the published articles. Are they high quality articles based on sound science? Are they appropriate for the journal? If not, this is a sign that the journal does not perform peer review. Insufficient contact information is another red flag. Take a look at the About Us page of the website. Look for a physical address, email addresses, and phone numbers. If any of this information is missing, be wary of the journal. A web contact form alone is not sufficient. If you are able to find a physical address for the journal, look up the address on Google Maps and take a look at the street view. Does the address look like an appropriate place of business for a scholarly journal? A journal's reputation in your field should also be considered. Ask your colleagues if they have ever heard of the journal. Do a search online to see what other scholars have to say. Does the journal have retraction and archiving policies? If not, they likely do not follow ethical scholarly publishing practices. In summary, you can spot a predatory journal by looking for unsolicited email invitations, unprofessional journal websites, no peer review practices, lack of contact information, and a poor reputation. If you would like to learn more about predatory publishing, explore these additional resources. Thank you for taking the time to listen to How to Spot a Predatory Journal. If you enjoyed this video, please visit our video library where you can find the associated slides. If you have questions about the material covered in this session, or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact me at rbueter at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.